As San Diego receives its first shipment of the one shot Johnson and Johnson vaccine, 1000 of those doses have been designated specifically for San Diegans who are staying at the convention center. This comes as the center is winding down its operations as a shelter, which began nearly one year ago. News 8's Richard Allen has more on where these San Diegans will be moving, as well as the possible future of the convention center itself. Well, that's right. Over that time, the convention center here has provided a safe space for more than 4,000 San Diegans, helping find permanent housing for more than 1,200 of them, a mission that will continue even as the convention center winds down its shelter operations. This is another step forward. A major step forward as a thousand doses of the newly arrived shipment of the Johnson and Johnson vaccine are distributed Tuesday and Wednesday to residents of the shelter to home program at the San Diego Convention Center. This is a part of a coordinated effort to make sure that we're caring for the most vulnerable in our community, just as we've done throughout the pandemic. San Diego Fire Rescue is overseeing this massive effort. I really do feel like we're getting there. Offering the one shot J and J vaccine to the more than 700 San Diegans still staying at the convention center, as well as the center staff, all in preparation for transitioning the current residents into other shelters throughout downtown. Let me be clear. No one at the convention center will be forced back onto the streets. Starting March 22nd, the move will begin in a phased approach. Father Joe's Villages, which operates a shelter out of Golden Hall, will offer facilities to families and transition age youth on the top floor, as well as a separate shelter for adult males on the lower level. The Alpha Project, PATH, and other Father Joe sites throughout San Diego will open their doors as well. Everyone coming together to uh, to work our way out of this. Before the move begins, though, these shelters will each undergo modifications to allow for greater social distancing among the new residents. For example, by spacing beds farther apart, as was done in the convention center. This will allow enough physical distance between shelter residents once they're back in those shelters. And with safer distances in place, the shelters will continue to help as many people as is possible. And Mayor Gloria today said that part of the federal stimulus money San Diego is expecting some $300 million will be used to combat homelessness. In the meantime, while there are no immediate plans for conventions here at the convention center, county leaders are considering using it as a mass vaccination site.